Hello! Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4 and we're going to take a look at how easy it is to pair up your Sony PS3 controller wirelessly to your Galaxy S4 handset and keep it working wirelessly after its initial pairing. Now to go through this process you're going to need a few things. First of all you're going to need a rooted Galaxy S4 handset. So if you haven't yet rooted your device check out the links down below for one of my previous videos on how to root your handset but do bear in mind that it will void the warranty. And secondly you're obviously going to need a PS3 controller as well as the USB cable that comes with it and finally you're going to need a USB on the go cable and you can see this cable has along the one side a USB 2.0 port and along the other it has a micro USB port. Now this costs here in the UK a couple of pounds and in the States it's a couple of dollars so not very expensive at all. Links will be down in the description if you're after one of these and what you need to do once you've got all the hardware is plug in the USB on the go cable to your handset like so and notice it does pop out a little bit but that's normal it's perfectly sturdy as it is and then what you need to do is plug in the one end of the USB cable for the PS3 into the USB on the go cable like so the other end of which obviously goes into the PS3 controller notice it does start flashing straight away but we haven't as yet fully paired it so don't worry about that next up what you need to do is go to the Android Play Store and then search for an application called six axis controller along the top of the search listings you'll see two six axis controller applications first of which is just a compatibility checker simply checks to see if your device is compatible with the application and the second one is the application itself so if your device is compatible and you have root access you can go ahead and buy this and i think off the top of my head it costs just over a pound or so here in the uk now if i tap into it i've already got it installed so i'm just going to hit open and this loads a six axis controller interface here. Just to give you an overview, before you start playing a game, you need to go into this application, hit the start button, so it loads the drivers on the handset, which allows it to speak to the PS3 controller. And once you've finished playing the game, you need to go back to this application, hit the start button, so the communication between the two devices has been stopped. With that in mind, we'll hit start, and you can see it says listening for controllers, which is good. Now we're gonna change the input methods from the keyboard on the screen to the PS3 controller. So we'll select the six axis controller here, and next up we'll go to pair controller that's the bluetooth address of the galaxy s4 handset so we'll hit pair and it says allow the app six axis controller to access a usb device which in this case is the psu controller so we'll say okay and it says master address updated which basically means the ps3 controller's master is the galaxy s4 handset next we'll go to menu then preferences now from here you can set different times of touch emulation for parts of the screen that you touch mouse and keyboard emulation for key mappings if you want to change those but the one that we're interested in here is gamepad settings so we tap here and we want to put a tick next to where it says enable gamepad like so this allows the ps3 controller to use its native control settings while you're playing a game so with that in mind we'll hit the home button and if we disconnect the controller from the Galaxy S4 handset. Notice the number one is present and it means it's paired with the S4 handset. As you can see, as I'm moving the joystick around, you got a crosshair moving across the various applications on the device. So what we'll do, go into apps and load up Grand Theft Auto Vice City. If we take a look at the controller still, you can see the number one LED is lit still. So it's still paired with the Galaxy S4 handset. So I'm gonna press X to skip, yeah, that works. Skip past the intro. Now it says tap to continue, so let's press X again. Yeah, that's going through, and again, so analog stick is navigating through the buttons, that is working, and the directional buttons are also working, so let's do resume game X, yeah. So far, so good, with the native buttons working as they should be. So let's see how good or how well the buttons respond once we load into the game. Ooh, so I was driving when I was doing something last, so triangle to get out of the car should work, yeah? Yeah. So joystick's working with him walking around. The other joystick pivoting the camera around. The character works as it did natively. Brilliant. I do love this. Okay, so let's try and run. Does that run? X? Yeah, that's running. Awesome. Okay, now button's working. Yeah, that's working. Triangle is obviously to get into a car or something. And as he goes to steal a bike, he gets run over. Not even a couple of minutes into the game. Okay, so circle is punch and kick. 
Uh, can we practice that out on anyone? Let's have a look. Let's have about this fat dude. Come on. Well, that was useless. At least he's rich. Ah, uh, but I'll take his money. Okay, so have we got any cars about? I'll do. Triangle. Does that get me in? Yeah, so native controls are working so far so good. X to go, yeah, X to going forward. Works. Ooh, handbrake is working as well, but I just want to play around with the buggy. I do love these things. Oh, busted straight away. How harsh is that? Okay, so I've been let loose again. So, I have no idea where I am, but let's have a look. Have I got any weapons? Yeah. R2, L2, you can see cycling through the weapons there. So if I... I'll stand the machine gun. Now, previously we had R1 to aim at someone. And then uh, L2 to shoot, so... Let's see... Yeah, that's aiming, so let's try it. Circle. Yeah, and that's shooting them, definitely. So, the native buttons are working so far so good. Let's try again. Ooh, loads of money. Rich little girl playing out at night. And here we have the little blue legend himself. And no, I'm not talking about the drug dealing plumber. This is Sonic the Hedgehog. And who remembers playing this back in the early 90s, I'm going to say. Or was it late 80s? I can't really remember, to be fair. But look how good and vibrant the colours look on the HD screen of the Galaxy S4. It almost looks like you're in a time machine playing this game. But definitely vibrant, very rich indeed. The controls are pretty much the same as what they were before, to be fair. The joysticks still working. Directional buttons, as you'd expect. And pretty much every button on this side is a jump or a spin and as you can see the controller is still paired as the number one LED still lit with the Galaxy S4 and you can pretty much get through the entire screen I said the entire screen, the entire game while just pressing forward and the occasional jump to jump over obstacles or enemies as you can see here loaded up into dead trigger here and as you can see still paired wirelessly with the, the Galaxy S4 the only difference with this particular game is I've had to manually map the buttons as to what I prefer. So X being fire, square being reload, toggle through weapons being the trigger buttons. The native button layout doesn't actually work, but customizing the button layout and mapping those manually doesn't take a minute at all. And as you can see, the gameplay is much better with no wires and still being paired with the Galaxy S4. How good does that gameplay look? And that's how easily you pair your Sony PS3 controller with the Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone. Any questions or comments you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. Doesn't cost you a single penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.